seismograph is an instrument that scientists use to measure seismic activity, or what we commonly know as earthquakes. So the materials that you're gonna need are a box. I'm using an old receipt, but you could also use pieces of paper um, that you cut and make into a longer strip. Uh, a cup, a marker, some string, and then I have scissors and a box knife and a hole punch. Um, and then I'm using coins, but you can also use rocks or marbles or some, anything else that is heavy. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna put a hole in the bottom of the cup. And it needs to be big enough that your marker can stick out through the bottom. might want to ask a parent to help you um, or an older sibling or another adult in your life. Let's see. So that is what our marker sticking out the bottom of the cup will look like. The next thing that I'm going to do, and I'm going to use a hole punch for this, but you could also use a knife or a pair of scissors, is I'm going to put four holes in the top part of my cup, and that's what we're going to hang the string from. I might cut off the edge of my cup just to make it a little bit easier. If you do that, it, the edges might be sharp, so just be aware and be careful. Much easier. Alright, and then I'm going to take one piece of my string and thread it through a set of the holes. So that it hangs there like this. And then you'll do the same thing on the other side. So it will look kind of like that. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your box. I'm going to have mine like this because my cup is kind of big. And I'm going to put holes in the top of it so I can have the string come up through the very top. string that I have, I am going to just bring those up through the holes so that um, I can have my cup hanging. And then I'm just kind of measuring the length down. I want it to hang because you want it to, uh, you want the pen to be able to touch the bottom because we're going to do some motion stuff. Now I'm just going to tie a knot at the top so that they stay. I might actually tie a bow so that I can adjust the length. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with the other set of holes. You want to try and get the sides as even as possible but it also doesn't have to be exactly perfect. And you can see that my cup is just kind of hanging on the side. One of the next things that you're going to want to do um, is you're going to cut a strip on each side at the base of the box. You don't want it to go all the way through. Um, but you want it to be wide enough so that your paper can pass through here. So, and then that will look like this when you throw your paper in. You can see that it's coming out right here. And it should be able to pass all the way through to the other side. I also want to make 
make sure that where you're putting your paper is centered under your cup. And I need to adjust mine just a little bit so that I have a little bit more length in my cup and so my pen can touch. I'm actually going to place my pen in there now so that I can get a better measurement of where the cut needs to hang. So there is the pen in the cup and then, now it's a little too long, I'm going to fold it up so that it hangs right there. And then uh, one of the reasons that we have the, the rocks or the coins is so that we can weight the um, cup so that it hangs evenly. So I'm just going to fill mine up with some. And you can see as this moves, it is drawing on that paper. So when an earthquake happens, what the scientists see is this will be shaking, kind of up and down like this, and the strip of paper will come through. And like this part here, you get a reading of how big the earthquake is. <laughs> 